Hey everybody, thanks for attending today's webinar. I'm Chris Eads, I'm gonna be your host. I'm a payment specialist here at Broadloom, and over the next 10 minutes or so, we're gonna cover how you can revolutionize your payment processing with Broadloom Payments. There's gonna be a Q&A session uh, post my presentation, so be thinking about um, some different things you wanna ask me. Be happy to entertain those questions. Also, I want to give you a little food for thought before we get started. Do you know exactly how much you're paying for your payment processing currently? Do you know if you're on a fixed rate or if you're on interchange plus rate? And are you giving all the different methods that your clients can easily pay you without resistance? Kind of piqued your interest? Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. So Broadloom took on a chronically bad problem, and that's payments. If you've looked at your current statement with your current merchant, you might see a few things that look like this. Many providers purposely complicate their pricing with these fees that no one really understands. There's something called a NABU fee, an AVS CPU fee, a batch header. Who knows what these things are? The list goes on and on and on. So with payment processing, the market is full of scary bad actors. So we did a little investigation. We had a retailer that was given a 2.5% rate. That's really, really good. Unfortunately, when we scrutinized the statements for a year, we found a $10,000 fee. The retailer was really taken aback by that. Another dealer, she was quoted 2.7%. And that's wonderful, but it was for only swiped Visa and MasterCard. Her Amex was a 3.9 fee with 30 cents per transaction. Lastly, we had another dealer, an amazing rate. 2.29% was his quoted rate. We found that's only for swipe transactions. His keyed entries, which he did 90% of, were 3.49. These pricing gimmicks can really carve a bunch of money out of your bottom line. So here's what we're offering. We offer two different solutions for you. One is a fixed rate, which I'm going to explain to you now. And one is what's called an Interchange Plus rate. Our Interchange Plus is special off-sheet pricing, and I'll be happy to quote it with you. At the conclusion of the presentation, I'm going to share how that you can send your statement to me, and I will send back a complimentary analysis. It's absolutely no obligation. So let's cover these fixed rates. It's 2.79 for swiped payments. It's 2.99 for non-swiped payments. There is no monthly fee with this solution. And you may be asking, do I get everything uh, for my payments? Are you going to charge me a fee uh, for different items? No. Um, we are going to give you everything that you need to manage your payments. This is any card type. There are no transaction fees. We give you the ability to accept ACH or bank-to-bank -bank processing. The fee for that is only 1%. So for your large transactions, you would definitely want to give your customer yet another option to pay you with a reduced rate. ACH is that. There are no setup fees and no hidden fees. So our solution is packed with value. Again, clear and transparent pricing, 2.79, 2.99. You don't have to second guess and I going to receive a card with Amex that's going to be at a much higher rate. It's fixed rates between all card types. There's no additional per swipe transactions. You can accept credit cards and ACH again for the reduced fees. You can rerun a card on file. We give you the ability to tokenize a card with your customer's consent. We give you the ability to add a payment button to your website. So many of you have asked me, 
I don't have a Broadloom website. Well, we can fix that, but absolutely. We'll give you a snippet of code that you can add to your existing website. You can send a link to your clients requesting payment. So how nice is it that you would have the ability that you could send a link to a customer's cell phone or email, and they simply click on that link to pay you uh, the amount due. We have a couple of other things with our Broadloom management software. It's reduced data entry with integration and reconciliations, refunds, and tokenizations are easier. So we offer an integrated payment processing. So again, uh, send a link to pay a deposit or a balance, offer a pay it now button on your website. I'll cover more of that on the next slide. This solution allows your customers to pay immediately while it's at the top of their mind. And lastly, a payments integrated with our Broadloom management software allows you to do refunds, payment, and tokenization. It's easier than ever. So I mentioned you can put a button on your website. We've got two different options for you. You can put it at the header. Many of you have our wonderful Lindavis uh, financing. It would be under that tab. See the gold arrow at the top. Or we can put it at the footer where it says pay online now. Very easy. Click a button and you receive money. So we offer a variety of compatible hardware options uh, to help you craft the perfect all-in-one solution for your platform. I made mention earlier uh, something for you to think about. Are you offering all the different methods that your customer can pay you? Um, with this machine, it takes EMV or NFC. It allows you to accept Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Google Wallet, PayWave, PayPass, Express Pass, D Pass. It features a built in printer and a 5.5 inch LCD screen. You can incorporate your logo in term to the uh, terminal's color screen for an excellent custom checkout experience. And you can connect it through a phone line, Ethernet, Wi Fi, even your cell phone if you want to connect it as a wireless hotspot. And it has a battery that lasts all day uh, that you can take it with you, or you can run it from the back of the house to the front of the house. So many of you are asking, hey, I like this solution. How do I get in touch? Again, I will do a free rate check for you. All you have to do is download an original PDF of your statement from your existing merchant and email it to rate check at broadloom.com, or you can schedule a meeting directly with me. You can book via this link. It's here. Uh, just click on it. Or you can call me, my direct number, 985-269-0146. And as always, you can email payments at broadloom.com. Q&A is up next. Uh, feel free to put any questions in the chat. And I will. Again, uh, unmuted and ready to go. All right. So, uh, Chris, super short, succinct, to the point. But that's sort of the beauty of payments here. Uh, it's not supposed to be something that's overly complicated or has a ton that you really have to sift through to understand the benefit for retailers to have. So. Um, I know we already have a couple questions coming in and we'll get to those shortly, but I think the overall idea behind having Broadloom payments was really, you know, fits into our mission of helping retailers run a more profitable, uh, more digitized, um, uh, you know, uh, floor and floor, profitability built into it. And Broadloom payments really helps them unlock that. So, uh, Chris, uh, from the clients that you've already started to work with, what has been the biggest takeaway that they've had uh, once they've started using payments? The biggest takeaway is they were really behind in the way that they accepted their payments from their clients. So 
many of them had a green screen from 1998 and you've probably experienced that you walked into a, a store and tried to submit a payment and you have this terminal that was from the 1990s and uh, they didn't have a way where you could make a payment using your cell phone and personally i use samsung pay really enjoy that um, and Basically, we're just enabling our dealers to come up to the 21st century with their payment methods, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, all the different payment types. Yeah, and look, I think the one thing that from speaking to retailers, you know, whether it's week to week or at shows, uh, the biggest thing that stuck out to me, or at least the benefit that I would see outside of obviously saving a lot of money, um, is the fact that you, know, you can also store card and card information. And I know so many retailers have to chase down, uh, you know, people that they've either completed a job for or, you know, getting that final invoice or a partial payment plan. Uh, with this solution, you are able to uh, get those payments uh, rerun through the system, right? Absolutely. It's called card tokenization. And a lot of dealers uh, that have used our solution say, I really don't know how I was doing it before dragging my customers back into the store. I really like the ability to send them an easy link or just have their card tokenized. Um, little do people know that pretty much your card's tokenized anywhere you go. With Walmart, if you go into a Walmart store and you make a transaction, if you make a return, they're gonna ask you, hey, do you wanna use that card? Do you wanna put the money back on it? Well, your card's been tokenized. We're just assisting all of our dealers and again, coming up to the modern age and enabling some card tokenization. How nice would it be to where you can just call your customer and say, hey, can we just rerun the card on file now that we've finished installing that beautiful flooring instead of trying to lure them back into your store to get a card physically swiped? Yeah, definitely would take a huge headache and that chase down. I know a lot of retailers complain about you know, the time wasted just trying to get the final payment for something that has already been provided. Um, and as we start to transition into the live Q&A section, a uh, quick reminder for some folks, uh, please send it either via email or in the Facebook or YouTube chat. I did get one to my personal email. Uh, so that one won't show up on the screen. Then we'll get to the other questions that were submitted prior. Uh, Chris, is it the same rate for all cards? Uh, that seems to be uh, one question, I think you even mentioned it in the webinar, uh, you know, uh, some were only available for uh, MasterCard and Visa. But we know there's other card providers out there today. Um, the rates that retailers see, is that standard across any card type? I know Amex has very you know high rates with uh, some merchants. Oh, good point, Jeff. Uh, you're absolutely right with Amex. Um, they can, well, are all the uh, card carriers adjust their rates in April and in October. We are really pushing simplicity with this program. So that's why the webinar is so short. That's the reason why Broadloom leadership wanted to uh, unveil this program to all of our dealers because it's so simple. As you saw in my presentation, uh, there's a lot of bad actors out there and they charge a variety of different fees for different card types. Uh, for that one example, she was she had a great rate, but her Amex was 3.9. We're taking out all the guesswork. It's a very simple rate, 2.79 if it's swipe, 2.99 if it's not. So again, right. utter simplicity is what we're going for here. It's my favorite structure. Uh, we call that what you see is what you get. Uh, there's no guesswork, there's no hidden fees, uh, nothing along those lines. And we're starting to get some questions popping in here. So we're going to start to answer some of those. So the first one is from Janice. Hey, Janice, how you doing? Hey, Janice. Um, and the question is, how is fraud controlled if non-swiped? Uh, great question. Uh, Chris, how, how is that controlled? Oh, you definitely want to follow a PCI compliance. Gather as much information from your client as possible. So Janice, definitely you would want to make sure that it's a client that you deal uh, with on a regular basis, or you gather as much information from them as possible. So for example, an ID, an email address, a telephone number, a physical address. If they just want to be that cash and carry customer that says, hey, I want 
2,000 square foot of that beautiful flooring. And I just want to give you my name is Bob and I'll send the truck out back. Hey, red flag, please be careful. That's probably a bad actor. So I'd say good guidance here, Chris, is mm -hmm. if it's too good to be true, that's probably a red flag. You nailed it, sir. Okay, awesome. Uh, and actually, I know that we are planning a uh, webinar and some content around uh, fraud prevention and what things to look for. So uh, Janice, definitely attend that one. I think it'll be coming uh, in February. Um, but we know there's a lot of bad actors out there. People are getting more and more savvy with technology and trying to take advantage of businesses. So we just want to make sure uh, that that's not going to be the case uh, as it relates to your store. Uh, next question up is from Maureen Jones. Uh, is the rate fixed? Uh, is the rate fixed for a set amount of months? The so answer to that, that, Maureen, uh, wonderful question because as I stated earlier, uh, with Interchange, the credit card companies, they can vary their rates every April and October. We have had the same fixed rate that Todd, our CEO, and our leadership team uh, kind of scheduled initially. So we have not went up at all, and it's still 279 and 2.99. We don't plan to change. Now, that said, if it goes up, just skyrockets. We might adjust the rate, but we will give you notification. It's not a varying rate that we're going to change every two to three months on you. Okay. Uh, Maureen, let us know if you have any additional questions on top of that. Um, but uh, here, we'll go to some of the pre-submitted questions that we got from some folks. Let's pull up the first one. Uh, how can I actually figure out what I'm uh, actually paying? Or how can I figure out what I'm actually paying? So... Uh, Chris, I think this went back to one of your first or second slides uh, when you're discussing, um, you know, you might see something that looks like a great rate, um, but then get hit with a surprise fee later on. Um, where could a retailer find that? Like, where's that information so it's not that you're stuck with the charge? Uh, I'm sure it's somewhere hidden in the fine print, or do they have to dive into the fine print to find that answer? I would strongly recommend that they dive into the fine print to find out what the existing merchant's going to charge them. Again, our solution is utter simplicity. So you don't really have to dive in at all. That's just yet another reason uh, to try out our solution. Um, feel free to send your statements to ratecheck at broadloom.com. Email me directly, call me anything. We'll do a complete analysis for you. Absolutely at no charge whatsoever. I try to turn them around at about, well, 24 hours or less. Generally, same day, within a couple of hours, I'll get back to you. Okay, awesome. And you can also fill out the web form, uh, select payment processing, and that goes right to Chris. So if you want to chat with Chris, uh, you can definitely uh, at, you know, get in touch with him there as well. Uh, let's pull up the next question we got. Uh, what's the difference between spike payments and non-spike payments? I, I know this one might sound a little uh, obvious, but there are some nuances there. So, Chris, can you quickly just give uh, people a background? And there's actually a follow-up on top of that in terms of the difference between an ACH and a wire. So, can you just give a breakdown of different ways to pay? Yeah, absolutely. So you've got swipe payments and you noticed our rates a little bit better on swipe than non-swipe. So 2.79 for swipe. And that means that someone standing in your store at a physical terminal, swiping a card through a machine. And the reason why you get a little bit better rate on that is very secure. Uh, someone asked earlier, you know, how do I really make sure that this is a secure transaction? Um, that is secure. The magnetic strip is encrypted with tons of data on the back of it. So again, swipe payment 279, a little bit better rate, and that's because it's more secure. And then you've got a non-swipe payment. That's going to be anything besides that physical card sliding through the machine. And that is 2.99. And um, People ask all the time, tokenized cards, is that going to be a swipe or a non-swipe? That's going to be a non-swipe. If you rerun that card on file without that card physically sliding through the machine, that's non-swipe transaction. You've got ACH transactions, which is only at 1%. 
that you ask about. And ACH is directly from their bank to yours. And that is very similar to a wire. Um, basically, it's an, an electronic transmission of funds, kind of like taking a check more so on the ACH side. Uh, would definitely encourage you to take cash number one, uh, check number two, ACH number three. And a lot of people are scratching their heads. Why would I take ACH before I would take a card? Well, 1%. We only charge 1% for that transaction. So especially with our commercial dealers, our multifamily dealers, it helps them out tremendously because these are big ticket items. And a lot of our dealers are saying, please don't go on vacation um, by using your Amex Platinum card with me. <laughs> and they're just conveying that to the multifamily dealers and save a lot of money by encouraging them to do ACH. Uh, a lot of people ask, so how do I allow them to do ACH. We've already done the heavy lifting for you. There's radio buttons. So when you send them an easy link or when you got them to the website, they're going to have two options. Credit's going to be the first one. ACH is going to be the bottom one. You've just got to educate your client. If you want them to use ACH, just let them know there's going to be a little radio button. It's really quick and easy, secure. Two little tidbits of data. It's a routing number, a bank account number, done. And then Chris, this, uh, this might be a nuance here. Um, you mentioned Apple Pay, mm -hmm. right? I'm in a store, there's a terminal there. I wanna pay with Apple Pay. Yes. I'm not physically swiping it, but I am present in the store. Is that a swipe or is that a non-swipe? That is a non-swipe. Now you're using your phone to submit that data, but you've manually keyed that data with your fingers into your phone to store it. So technically that's non-swipe. I would encourage you to encourage your clients, whip out that physical card and swipe it through the machine. And if they don't have it and they just have their cell phone, that's that's just fine. It would be at the non-swipe feed. All right, so rule of thumb here is plastic is preferred, but obviously, you know, receiving payments, we wanna make that as easy as possible. I think having that payment link that you mentioned, be able to send it via email, have it online, you know, that 0.2% or so uh, difference might be a, uh, a big benefit to a lot of retailers. So just be able to have that flexibility um, across the board. Absolutely. Um, so really, really appreciate you helping clarify that one, Chris. Uh, let's pull up the next question. All right. Uh, next question up. I, oh, we literally just talked about this. So... Um, we, we talked about having the links online. So uh, whoever submitted this, uh, please just follow up if you have any additional question there. But it doesn't seem like there's an extra charge that just counts as a non-swipe. Is that correct, Chris? You are absolutely correct, sir. So we provide uh, the service. We're going to put the little button at the header under the finance tab where you're going to see the wonderful Linovus, uh option. Or we can put it at the footer with that little uh, pay online now. So a lot of our dealers say, I really enjoy uh, receiving money while I sleep. That that warrants my heart. Uh, we're given more options to receive your money that you work so very hard for. I need to figure out how to receive some money while I sleep. But that's all. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> so it uh, looks like we have one last question, unless we have anything else popping up uh, live right now. Oh, my, my favorite spelling of Broadloom. Uh, uh, L-U-M-E, we're not the carpet, but a lot of our partners are the carpet. Uh, so you don't need to be a Broadloom customer uh, to use payments, uh, our payment processing solution. Chris, I, again, I think you mentioned this in the presentation, but uh, th that holds true, correct? Absolutely. You are absolutely correct, sir. You don't have to be an existing Broadloom customer, but we would love you to. Um, hopefully it's a gateway to more of our products and services, but we can absolutely start you out with our payment solution. And again, the goal here is to help retailers run more profitable businesses. And if you don't have our website solution, if you don't have our business management software and flooring software, that's fine. We still want to help you save money. So uh, definitely go online, fill out the form, uh, select payments or send Chris uh, a PDF of that invoice and we can let you know what your potential savings is going to be. Uh, then get out of it too quick. We still got uh, another question uh, from Amanda. 
Uh, is the money batched daily or immediately? Great question, Amanda. The Thank you so much, Amanda. Um, the money is batched into a holding account by our host bank, and that's done immediately. So every 24 hours, um, well, really, if it's done on a 24-hour basis, it I guess you could say it's done daily. Um, although you're going to have a website where you're going to see all of your incoming funds. You're going to see any of your pending funds. That means if you send out links, you'll see all those pending. You will have reporting for reconciliation, whether it be daily, weekly, monthly. So we give you almost, well, I'll just say an abundant amount of resources so you can follow your money at any time. You'll be able to see it come and go. All right. Awesome. Thank you for that, Chris. And Amanda, let us know if you have a follow-up on that one. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to see if there's a last call for any other questions. Otherwise, we're going to let you guys get back to selling. Uh, and we'll just leave it open for another second. Just keep my eyes on the chats. We've got a couple different streams going on at one time. So always want to make sure we capture everything. But uh, looks like we are all set. So, Chris, thank you so much uh, for joining us and helping explain why our payment processing solution can help dealers uh, save money, get paid faster, and modernize uh, their flooring store. I think it's pro possibly one of the best things that we've done in terms of just ease of implementation and direct ROI and benefit for the retailer. So really excited for retailers to continue to get their hands on this. Uh, if you guys have questions, again, Chris is your guy. You can fill out the form online. You can shoot him an email. You can drop us a line in our uh, web chat on our website. Uh, we are here to help. Uh, but let's give it up for Chris. Awesome job, Chris. <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, we hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday, and we will see you guys next week. Have a good one, y'all. Thank you so much.